Hello and welcome to another video on the Fossil Hybrid HR. Today we'll be looking at the Fossil's music and media controls. Now I've already got the bottom button assigned to music control so I can just bring it up at the press of a button. If you want to know how I set that up you can check out my previous video in which I showcase all the ways you can customize a hybrid HR. Of course you can also bring up the music controls by long pressing the middle button and scrolling all the way through the menu to find it. It's a bit longer to do it this way, but it's still an option for people who have assigned their buttons to something else. Now that we've got our music controls open, let's find out what we can do with them. There have been quite a few software updates on the Hybrid HR since I published my last video, and one of the big things that's changed is the music control layout. It's much more streamlined and user-friendly now. You'll see that the volume and track controls are now combined, so you can press the top button to increase volume, and you can press the bottom button to lower volume. You'll also notice that the little icons flash to let you know what you've pressed. If you hold the top button, you can skip to the next track, and again, the little icon flashes. And if you hold the bottom button, you can restart the current track, or hold it again to go to the previous one. Again, the button flashes. The middle button will let you play and pause your music, and you see that I've paused the music here and the controls have disappeared. They only show up when the media is playing on your phone. So I'll play it again, and you can see that all of my controls are back. And that's pretty much it when it comes to music controls on the Hybrid HR. But there are a few more things you should know about controlling your media from your watch, and I'll go through them all while showing you what the controls look like with a bunch of different apps. Because these controls will work with Spotify, YouTube, Libby, Google Play Music, Netflix, Pocket Cast, Amazon Music, VLC, and even stuff from your phone's gallery. The Hybrid HR can control almost all media playing on your phone. So we'll start off with Google Play Music, and the first thing I want to mention is that the watch hands will go back to the normal position after a few seconds. So I'm playing some music, they're at 9 and 3, it's currently 1.09pm, so the hands should go back to telling me the current time in a few seconds. There we go. Now I love this feature because it highlights the dual nature of the hybrid HR. The digital display lets you control the music and the volume and whatnot, while the physical watch hands will tell you the time. And the best thing is that it'll stay on the screen for as long as you're playing music. Even if a notification comes in, it'll flash on your screen. You can dismiss it or just let it time itself out, and it'll go right back to playing your music controls. Moving on to Amazon Music, again the controls are the same, so press a button to control volume, and hold them down to skip between tracks. Now the second point I want to mention, and one which I think is perhaps the best thing about the Hybrid HR, is that you can control your music without ever needing to look at the watch hands thanks to these physical buttons. So let's say I'm on the home screen, and I'll turn my watch around so I can't see it. I press the bottom button to open up my music controls, and then I can just adjust the volume or skip between my music tracks without ever looking at the display. And I think that's perfect for when you're in public transport or when you don't want people to know that you're wearing a smartwatch. With a lot of other smartwatches, you have to look down to see what you're doing or where you're swiping or tapping. And with the hybrid HR, you don't need to do any of that. You can be as discreet as you want, and I think that's awesome and underrated. And it's a feature that I use all the time. With Spotify, the controls are again identical, so press for volume and hold for track control. Now, I'm on the free version of Spotify, so there is a limit on how many tracks I can skip, which is why it doesn't do anything even though I'm holding the button. Now, the third point I want to make here is that the song and artist information on the Hybrid HR is a bit limited. So the display is quite small, and it doesn't scroll to show you the full information like you would get on a touchscreen smartwatch. There are also no options to see more detail, like the album or artist name or even the full track title. That little snippet of information, that is all you get. Now let's say that you're not interested in listening to music, you want to listen to an audiobook or a radio drama instead. I'm listening to the Lord of the Rings audiobooks and they are absolutely brilliant. The guy who plays Frodo in the books goes on to play Bilbo in the movies, which I thought was really really cool. But anyway, stemming from my previous points, you'll see that the information on the Hybrid HR is very limited. This is all you see. And what's important to note also is that the controls change depending on the app I'm using. So I've got Libby open, and you can see here 
that my controls let me jump ahead or go back by 15 seconds rather than skipping to the next chapter or section of the book. So when I hold the top button to skip to the next track on the hybrid HR, it'll just jump forward by 15 seconds instead. And it's the same thing if I try to go to the previous track, it'll jump back by 15 seconds. So the point here is that the controls will change depending on what app you're using, so definitely keep that in mind. Now let's say you don't want to listen to music or an audiobook, and what you want instead is a really awesome podcast. I've got the Lockdown Traveller open on Pocket Cast here, and again, you can see that my controls in the app let me jump 15 seconds at a time. I can still control the volume as normal, but by holding any of the buttons, I'll just jump forward or backwards by 15 seconds at a time. So the music skipping features will match whatever I've got in the app. By the way, I should mention that The Lockdown Traveller is a podcast that I recently started with two other people, Ali and Zucky. We're only a few episodes in, and we're really looking to get feedback on our content. I would really appreciate it if you could give it a listen and just let me know what you think. Whether you love it or hate it, or are completely and totally apathetic, I'd love to hear from you. Honestly, any and all feedback is welcome and appreciated. The Spotify link is in the description below, and you can send us feedback via email at thelockdowntraveller at gmail.com, or you can just post your thoughts in the comment section of this video. Getting back to the video, music, podcasts, and audiobooks aren't the only thing the hybrid HR can control. It'll also control video playback. So I've got YouTube open here, and you can see that I can control the volume by pressing the buttons. The media skipping controls actually let you jump between different videos in your playlist rather than jumping forward or back 10 seconds at a time. So if I long press the top button, it'll skip to the next video in the playlist. And if I long press the previous button, it'll jump to the previous video in the playlist. Unfortunately, you can't skip ads using the controls on your watch. Netflix is a bit of a weird one. The volume controls work just fine, but the media controls are a bit messed up. Instead of jumping back and forth 10 seconds at a time, holding the top button will jump straight to the next episode. Holding the bottom button does absolutely nothing. With Prime Video, the volume controls are great, but the track controls are pretty much like Netflix, so I can hold the top button to go to the next episode in the playlist, but if I hold the bottom button, it does absolutely nothing. Also, just like Netflix and YouTube, you can't skip ads and you can't skip the intro using the controls on your watch. With VLC, the volume controls work great. I can also use the track controls to skip to the next video in the playlist or start the current one from the beginning again. The final point I'd like to make about the media controls on the Hybrid HR is that they're not super clever. With other smartwatches, when you play music on your phone, the watch will automatically show you the media controls. With the Hybrid HR, the controls are only going to appear once you manually open the app on your watch. Also, the media controls will only control your last used application, so you can't actually tell it to play something from Spotify or YouTube or scroll through a playlist to pick a specific song. So right now, I've got Amazon Music playing in the background. I can also switch to Google Play Music, and you'll see that my watch updates to match. I can switch to Pocket Cast, and again, it'll update. Or I can switch to Libby, and again, the watch will update. So it'll show you what's currently playing, but it'll only allow you to control what was last playing. So if I switch to Google Play Music, you'll see the watch update. I'm going to pause my music. I'm going to clear all my playing apps. I'm going to make sure I have no recent apps open on my phone, and I can still control my media by only controlling the last playing app. So that was Google Play Music, and you can see Again, Google Play Music is playing on my phone. I can't switch to another media app or pick a different song unless I take my phone out. With other smartwatches, you get that extra functionality built in, and you don't get that with the hybrid HR. Personally, I quite like the simplicity available here, and I really only use one app to listen to music, so this hasn't really been an issue for me. Overall though, I'm really pleased with the implementation of media controls on the Hybrid HR. It reminds me so much of the Pebble, and I can't tell you how much I love that I can control my music without even needing to look down at the watch. And that actually brings me to the end of this video, so with that said, if you've got any questions, comments, or concerns related to the Fossil Hybrid HR, or my shameless podcast plug for the Lockdown Traveller, 
let me know and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I hope that you and your family are safe and well wherever you are in the world. This has been Zaim Siddiqui from Zeus Reviews, over and out.